Hi everyone, it's been a while, huh? So I'm here playing a video game called Valoran. That's a free open source video game. Uh, open source meaning anybody can contribute to this project. If you're a coder, if you're an artist, if you're a some sound design person, you can check out valoran.net. You can join your GitLab and see what's going on, see if, you can, if there's anything you can help with. I've been helping with some sprites. I've been making voxel assets, mostly for flowers and mushrooms and things, because uh, I'm a newbie at voxel creation. Anyway, let's have a look at this video game. You can see it looks very cube world -ish, and cube world is one of their inspirations for making this, as well as, I think, Dwarf Fortress and the Zelda games, Legends of Zelda. Uh, I'm going to create a new character. So we've got some races. There's human, orc, dwarf, Elf, Undead, and Denari. I like the Denari, they're cute. So I'm going to make a Denari. Then you have weapon choices. Uh, no dual wheel just yet. There's sword, hammer, bow, axe, and and staff. Uh, let's go with bow. There's some new bow mechanics in the game that I haven't tried yet. I'll probably suck at it, but we'll see. Uh, we can choose a hairstyle and a hair color. I like that one. Uh, hairstyle. Yeah. Skin color. The Denari are an aqueous race. They mostly live underwater, although in terms of the law, some of them also live above ground. Let's do that one. And then eye details we can choose. I like the normal one. Eye color. Mmm, you have red eyes. Let's keep it light green. No accessories yet. Character name. Potato. Okay, and let's enter the world. Oh, it's night time. Interesting. Uh, I think I can do... Yeah, there we go. So, uh, when you create a single player world just now, you're kind of a, in admin mode in that world, so there are some little commands you can use to help out. Okay, uh, level one goose, time to die. I'm running backwards as I do this because I'm trying to avoid getting hit. Um, I don't know what the... Okay, yeah, there's a right mouse button attack as well with the bow now. So then I run up to the bag and I hit E, and I got, oh, another bow, <laughs> I think, I think I dropped a bow. Uh, and you start with an apple and cheese, so let me just move these down into my hotbar for ease of use. So let's look around, you always, right now that the map is the same, uh, it's always the same world. You can, uh, if you're running a server and you want to play around, you can generate your own random world. But it takes a long time, and while the game's in development, it's easier for testing purposes and stuff for them to always have the same world. Uh, this is one of my flowers, this red one. And these little pastel ones are mine. Lots of fields here. Uh, so, right now, you can fight things, as you just saw me do, and things drop loot. You can get a few different kinds of armor and weapons. None of them have stats on them yet. Um, apart from one sword that you can get from a cultist leader at the bottom of the dungeons that has slightly better stats than the other stuff in the game. But otherwise, uh, everything has the same stats or has no stats. Uh, this is also one of my flowers. Uh, but it's a very, very pretty game, as you can see. Uh, you can set your view distance quite high. Mine is on 35 currently, which is fine for playing. But if I bump it up, it should generate more terrain off in the distance. Uh, they, I think there's a, an update to the glider mechanics in this version too. Um, I don't know how it works. Oh, there we go. Whee! So it used to be you held down the shift key to have your glider open, and now it's a toggle instead. 
and they're also working on adding wall running with the glider, which looks really awesome what's been done on it so far. Uh, these little purple flowers are mine. Little bat fox. They're also in the process of remodeling some of the creatures, um, updating the design of them. Um, but there's tons of really cute things. Hi! I see you. And there's also a mechanic whereby you can uh, find collars that drop from mobs and then you can use the collar to tame creatures and then they fight for you. Uh, but there's friendly fire right now so it's very easy for you to hit them and for them to hit you. Um, but you can sort of wangle it in such a way that uh, you don't deal damage to each other when you're fighting something. Oh yeah, so these are gentle giants. Uh, they are non-aggressive until you attack them. You can see the little skull icon where the level should be there. That means they're a much higher level than me. So I'm going to leave him alone. And there's a mushroom here. You can walk up to the mushrooms. Um, press E and collect them. And then they give you health. There's no trading in the game yet, so when your inventory fills up with stuff you don't use, you can just chuck it. Um, but there will be trading. Uh, there's going to be an economy, I think, like a fully functioning economy system. These are my flowers too. That's a nice little flower patch here. Um, most things in the game, I think, are going to work on RNGs, uh, you know, the quests and things. Um, but there's a rich law already being worked on that will underpin everything. Uh, I'm looking for something specific. Uh, there are treasure chests in the game. And often they're hiding up in the tree branches. And also sometimes on the very tops of the trees. Oh, the clouds look nice there. And the lion. Rawr. Oh, some apples. You can pick these too. Um, I struggled figuring this out for a while, but you have a, <coughs> excuse me, a tiny cursor, and you have to point that tiny cursor at the fruit, and then you collect it. But it's it's quite difficult to see. It's a tiny circle. Okay. I'm going to drop my view distance back down a little bit. There's another giant. It's a human. Um, the team working on Valorian have a official servers. Um, I think there's one in America, one in Canada. Yeah, actually, I think there's one in... Um, most of them, I think, are based in Germany, so that there's probably a German server. So you can hop on the official servers and play. Uh, the servers always run the nightly build. And there's a game launcher called Airshipper that you can download that automatically updates the game every time there's an update. Uh, campfires will save your position in the world, so if you die you'll respawn back at whichever campfire, campfire you passed last. There's a chest. So you hold space and you climb surfaces. It does eat your stamina, that, that blue bar on the right. Okay, and then you press E to open the chest and found a belt. Pop that on. Um, I'm going to run up to the up onto the mountain and then turn around and do some proper gliding. Past the little piggy there. Uh, the dungeons right now are quite simple. They're sort of underground levels. Uh, no decorations in them just yet, but go down and down, and in the bottom level you'll find that the boss, the cultist leader. Um, they're quite difficult. So it's recommended that you go in with lots and lots of food. There we go. Pretty game. It's a little village we started in. Wee. 
So when you keep your finger on the W key for moving forward, you maintain the altitude mostly. If you let your finger go off the W key, you'll start falling, but then you can re-engage that. Uh, there's a chest on top of this tree here. Let's see what was in there. Sword. So the, the weapons all have different attack mechanics. Oop, took fall damage there. So you can choose depending on your playstyle which one you like. So that's a very quick look at Valoran. Um, I'll put the link in the co in the description. Uh, you should come and check out the Discord channel. It's a very friendly place, and you can even if you don't join in with helping develop the game, you can see everything that's going on, see what people are working on, see what new features are coming, suggest features that you'd like to see in the game. It's a very cool experience. Stay safe, everyone, and have fun. Bye.